Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Labarge228, and I'm doing a video of my AK 47 airsoft gun. So let's get started. But first, we're gonna go with the Colt 1911 target airsoft gun, iron sights are pretty good. Uh, take the clip out from that button and you put the clip back in there and then you pull this back and you're ready to shoot by BBs or whatever you use for them. This is a six millimeter BB gun or plastic BBs and I broke this gun, the trigger does not work, and this thing, I threw it too hard, and it broke. Alright, now to the airsoft gun. This is an electric spring gun. I got it from Amazon, it was $28, but then you had shipping and handling and tax. It ended up to be $50, and I think $0.08. Cents. I don't remember, but it has single shot and automatic firing. Oh my guys, sneeze. <coughs> Whoa. All right. Um. And this holds six millimeter pellets included, and in working safety. And capacity, magazine capacity is 50 rounds. Alright, now it's the gun. It says, do not shoot at any human or animal. I shoot them at people. So, oh man, I left my safety goggles in my camping bag. Oh well. But here we have the clip. It holds 500 rounds. 50 rounds in this little thing right there where it shoots and this is where you put all the BBs right there um, there's a little thing on the bottom that you turn to get more BBs in it and when you stop hearing this noise it means the clip it's full and it's already at the top and if you go any further it's gonna explode I learned that the hard way <clears throat> and then here we got a thousand rounds of BBs. And here's just some extra ones that I had for my other nerf or airsoft gun that's broken because my brother sat on it. And this is a battery charge. The battery is already in it. it. You put the battery in from there, you just unscrew those. And I lost that little thing. And. I kind of broke the iron sights, but they're still good. Oh, that's actually pretty good. But, and then make sure when you put the clip in that you put it in at an angle. Okay, if it'll go in. Well, I'm doing this with one hand. Alright, there we go. And it looks just like an AK. And with this part, you want to keep that on because I know some of my friends, he has a Thompson cyber gun. And he took this part off and he got fined for like $250. That was about how much his gun was. Because it looked like a real freaking gun. And then there's this little lever right there that you push towards the clip. Take out. And this thing does not come back. Um, here we got safety, uh, semi-auto, and auto, which my auto is not working, as you can tell. The AB stands for, I don't know, but semi-auto is what I use. It has an adjustable hop-up system, and yeah. And it comes with the, the cleaning rod type thing. Just stick it in there. 
just like cleaning out a real gun. Go like that and jam it. Then, where's the clip? And this is my airsoft gun. And I have another one that I ordered yesterday and it got at Walmart today. It's called, oh, what was it called? Crossman R73. Find it at Walmart. And I haven't shot it yet. But I'm planning on taking it out to our lake. But I ain't taking this thing out. And I got a new hat. Pretty beast. And yeah, and then here's the guns, airsoft guns that I want. I want AK 47, which I already have, the Commando, the AUG, the L898 or something like that, and then a Scar H. The Scar H I'm ordering in about two to three weeks. So I'll do a dialogue of that gun and I'm doing one on the crossman gun and all that good stuff yeah well this is my airsoft gun it's the large 228 signing out